The other thing I want to mention, uh, the thermal treatment plant. As you know, this has been an ongoing issue for us for some time. We did get the testing done. We are uh, hope to get the final results of the testing within the next two weeks. Once we get those results, Council will take a look at them, they will review them, and then we will decide on next steps. Uh, as soon as we do get those final results, we will keep the community informed as to what those results are and as to what our next steps will be with respect to uh, uh, the garbage at the landfill site. And again, I want to please encourage everybody to do recycling because that's so important that we recycle uh, our garbage at the community. Assembly of First Nations. The uh, assembly was held in December um, 9, 10, and 11, and Perry Bellegarde, who was the Grand Chief of the Federation of Saskatchewan Indian Nations, was elected as the National Chief of the AFN on the first ballot. There were a total of 484 delegates voting. 60% was needed to win and on the first ballot he achieved 291 votes. During this assembly I was asked to make a presentation on the restructuring and reformatting of the Assembly of First Nations as I sat on an interim task force that was looking at that. This was done on the first day and it was meant to generate discussion on the future of the AFN. There were a number of questions put forth such as what is the role of the Assembly of First Nations, what is the role of the National Chief and of the Executive. A Chief's Committee of Representatives from each region will now be formed and will continue on with this work. There was also discussion on plans for a roundtable on missing and murdered Indigenous women, and I understand that roundtable will take place on February 27th in Ottawa. There was also, also a presentation by Murray Sinclair, who was the Chair of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. They will be rounding up their work in July 2015, and plans are underway for a huge celebration in Ottawa for all of the residential school survivors. And I think our residential school survivors here at Six Nations are doing some fundraising so that they can get to that uh, celebration. The Chiefs also passed a resolution to move forward with a framework for a federal act for funding First Nations education and the terms of reference for a joint working group. The new National Chief will be uh, presenting this to the Minister of Indian Affairs who has said that Bill C-33, First Nations Control of First Nations Education Act, would remain on hold until a new National Chief is elected. I'm not sure if that's done yet, but I do know that the AFN Executive is meeting next week and hopefully we can get a report on uh, where this is going with respect to the uh, resolution that was passed by the Chief. Health issues. The mobile coach for cancer screening was in our community the week of December 8th and will be here again during uh, Community Awareness Week and I think it will also be here on May 12th. Um, I'm a champion for that cancer screening and I want to encourage everyone to get their screenings done, especially those who have never been screened before. I think we all know that we are losing too many of our people to cancer and it uh, has an impact on our, on our community and our families and I think we all need to work together to promote screening.